You never were any doubt away me. I just should just to do what you ever do. You should never want to such a kind. You should just try to find your way. It's not a deal. It doesn't do what I can't do. You just go. Okay, hi everybody and welcome back to another very cool tutorial. This time we will talk about Character Creator 5 because the great folks at Realusion asked me to do an updated video on this new piece of software and because I'm a pretty loyal CC4 user for a couple of years now, this was a no-brainer for me. So let's talk about the new features pretty quickly because uh, all the new features are integrated into this character. So first of all we have a new subdivision level so we can add in more details. We have a pretty cool new realistic skin system so we can really dial in all of these cool micro details. We have an upgraded facial performance system which we'll talk about later and of course we have our actor mixer so we can play around with morphs and really within seconds create completely new and unique looking characters. And the result is this female character uh, which I had a concept for. So that was my initial goal to create something that looks a little bit more like this. And I ended up creating this character here. And the main feature for this was of course the actor mixer. So as you can see and you can play around with different options and different morphs in order to change the initial look of your character. So for example, if we want to go into the hat change, we can create new characters within seconds. Look at this. This is pretty, pretty damn cool. And you can even go with something a little bit more uh, fantasy style characters. And you can really do this with the click of a mouse button, or in this case, by dragging the mouse around and you can really dial in new cool features with no time. So especially for people like me who are not initially character artists, this is a pretty cool feature. Okay, but there are a lot of videos out there featuring all of these cool new highlights. So let's really talk about production ready stuff and we can integrate this into an existing Blender workflow. First of all, if you have a sloppy PC and you don't have the ability to use a subdivision level two character, no problem, you can go up here into the create section and bake down your normal maps to a subdivision level of 0 or 1 in order to make characters work fluently even though your PC is not the best without crashing. Anyway, we want to export this character to Blender and for this one we go up into plugins and then into the Blender pipeline and then we can export our character to Blender. Pretty self-explanatory. And then there's this new menu popping up telling us uh, if we want to export our character, of course. And you can choose whether you want to export this with a subdivision level of 0 to 2. And we go with subdivision level 1, so we have a little bit better feedback when it comes to playback. And then we can hit export and go into a new file, which we can, for example, create. We call this uh, CC5 character and then we are good to go. Okay, and inside of Blender, we have the option to use the free add-on that comes with this uh, workflow. So you can download this on the Realusion homepage or on the Realusion hub. And then we can install this in Blender and this is our options. And we want to import our character that we've already exported. So we can search for our CC5 character and then import this into Blender. And this is cool because with a click of a button you get everything done for you. So the texturing, the rigging, everything is there just for you to start working in Blender. Which is fine because especially these technical parts uh, when it comes to character creation is always a hassle. And if you're not familiar with this workflow, things get pretty complicated. Anyway, so that would be the initial import once everything is set up. And if we, for example, create a light and go into rendered mode we will have our character. Pretty important, uh, you need to set up the ray tracing inside of Eevee in order to make your eyes look a little bit better. But other than that, we have a pretty good looking character with a nice rig, with all the perfect weights from Character Creator. Everything is ready for rigging. Talking about rigging, we can use a pretty cool feature inside of this Blender add-on, which is the ability to rig up the character with the free Rigify add-on and therefore you can see we have an option which is called Rigify setup and we can go into advanced and first of all attach a meta rig. Once this is done we can generate our Rigify rig, everything with a click of a button and then you have a control rig that you can use for your animations. 
Okay, and once everything is ready, once again with only a few clicks we have a perfectly rigged character that looks pretty good and without any necessary technical skills in order to get this character production ready. Which is nuts. And if you're familiar with Unreal Engine, this face rig looks familiar because it is pretty much based on the MetaHuman face system. And now we have the option to play around with our character. So look at this, we have a perfectly weight painted rig with a perfectly realistic looking character. And moreover, we have wrinkle maps, which is really crazy. So you really, really dial this in and get pretty realistic and micro details with no time. Okay, so that was kind of like the starting point because once you have a workable character inside of DCC of choice, in this case Blender, we can start working out a scene and bring this into position. First of all, we can import animations uh, directly from mocap data or from Mixamo, or which is also a new feature inside of iClone, we have uh, something that is called video mocap because Reillusion partnered up with Quick Magic AI, which is the new game changing software when it comes to motion suit less animations. So everything you need to do is to upload a video and then wait for iClone to upload this. And then you can take a look at the existing footage. So Quick Magic highly recommends to do this uh, with a static camera. But as far as I can tell, this even works with slightly moving camera. So no problem as long as the software can identify the silhouette. And you can decide whether you go with a full body or just with the upper body. And also pretty cool, including the finger and hand motion, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So in this case, we want to have the full body and we can apply the settings. And then you can see that the status just changed to unprocessed. And we can upload this to Quick Magic in order to get the video mocap data. And for every generation, you can see that uh, there's a new menu popping up uh, that will charge our Real Illusion points uh, for 250 for each task. So you can upload uh, up to 60 seconds of footage and it will cost 250 no matter how long your video is, as long as it will not succeed the 60 seconds of video data. So in this case, we want to purchase this, which is something like $2 for each generation, which is okay. And we can hit purchase. And once the system is uploading this stuff and analyzing our video footage, we should have something to work with. So each generation will take approximately 10 minutes. Uh, so you can just wait for the software or until the process is finished, you can work on your blender scene as well, whatever you like. And once everything is generated, we will have a green light here and we can apply the motion to our character and it will retarget everything for us. And as you can see, we have our background plate. So the original video, and there you will find a pretty cool motion, not perfect, but we can of course clean this up, export the animation and import this into Blender. So this is a pretty nice way to combine AI technology, in this case, quick magic, in order to get nice animations without the need for any suit. Not perfect, but you don't get a perfect result even with a motion suit. So this is a pretty handy new feature. Anyway, if you don't have the money to buy iClone yet, there are different options which we can talk about. First of all, if we're back into Blender, we have this cool feature of applying face mocap. So as you can see, our character has different shape keys, which is driven by our control rig. And we have the ability to import video mocap data based on our AR kit. And for this, we can add in our proxy face, which turns out to be this one. And now we can load our CSV file onto our face, which will then copy the information and the shape keys on our existing rig. And this is pretty easy. You can use the free live link face app. I think it's exclusively for Apple users. So you need an iPhone for this. But once you record anything with your phone, we can upload the created CSV file. And then we can just import this, which we recorded with our iPhone and then apply this to our character. And all of the sudden our face will have mocap data. Isn't that cool? As you remember my initial video with CC4, we needed an additional add-on which was called face it in order to get something like this. But now this is capable inside of our free CC5 character creator add-on for Blender.
And more importantly, we can import any animation, uh, for example, from Mixamo. So let me show you real quick how this works. Here are some Mixamo animations, and we can, for example, go for something like, oh, what about yelling out? Yelling out is a cool one, so we can import the animation. And as you can see, we have our downloaded rig from Mixamo. And then we can retarget this onto our existing character. So we will need to select our character in order to get our rig, in order to get our menu back. And then we can search for our source armature, which in this case is the yelling out. And then we can preview our retargeted animation. Okay, and if something like this is going to happen to your character, no problem, we can stop the preview, which is a cool feature because in other softwares you will have to undo a few steps in order to get your T-Post back. But here we can just stop the preview. And in order to make this work, we just need to apply the rotation of our character. So as you can see, uh, we need to bring up our character so we can go into our rotation x and then 90 and then pretty important apply our rotation for the character and now it should work fine so once again we can select our rig we can select our imported animation as a source armature and then we can preview the target and now everything should work that's pretty pretty cool Okay, so as you can see, we've created something entirely with the existing tools using a free mocap face app, in this case, lifelink face, in order to get pretty cool and good looking face mocap. We used some animations from Mixamo and created this lifelike animation with our character that we've created inside of Character Creator 5 with all of these cool new features that we've talked about. And now we can implement this into our existing 3D scene and create something from scratch pretty easily without the technical knowledge of this complex process of character animation and creation. So check out the tools. It's pretty affordable, it's pretty easy, and you can get triple A animations and characters with no time. Thanks for watching and see you next time.